Life, it's about moving forward and getting better. And there's no better time to refresh, renew, and dream than on opening day. The 124th season of Penn State football started with something not seen since the 24th season of Penn State football. A true freshman starting the opener at quarterback, Rob Bolden. Short drop, Bolden throws, oh, it man. is caught. Swinging near side, Prackett gets a block 35 to the 30, near side out of bounds. First down, Penn State. Back goes Bolden, screen pass to Royster. Gets a block, the 30, trip up at the 28-yard line. Bolden It'll be fourth down. Good snap, put down by Brackett. Kick by Wagner's on his way. That kick by Wagner is gone. And the neck and lines are on the board. Youngstown State provided the first test of the season. And on this Labor Day weekend, the Nittany Lions were laboring a bit early as the Penguins took the lead on a Kurt Hess 80-yard connection to Dominique Barnes. But responding to adversity is something any good football team has to do, and the Nittany Lions responded. Hold to the gun. Back he goes. Robert sets. Over the middle. Caught. First down. Midfield. 45. Crack it to the 40. Putting together a pretty good drive here, taking what that Youngstown State defense is giving him. Perhaps it was the combination of youth and some opening day jitters, but Penn State just wasn't quite in sync yet and trailed after a quarter. But it was a productive drive. 49-yard attempt. We're down. The kick by Wagner's on its way. That kick by Colin Wagner is gone. A career-long 49-yard field goal for Colin Wagner. And the Nittany Lions close the gap. Two receivers near side. Hess inside handoff. Spun around by Agbu and eventually cleaned up back at the 43-yard line. Agbu's the one that shot the gap and Lattimore cleaned it up. The Nittany Lions have always prided themselves on good defense, and other than the one long touchdown play, they were off to a good start again. They helped keep it tight until the offense could get it going. Senior tailback Evan Royster moved up two more notches on Penn State's all-time rushing list, passing Lydell Mitchell and Larry Johnson. Back goes Bolden on a straight drop. Blitz coming, sets, he throws, and it's going to be intercepted at their Youngstown 49-yard line. But the defense kept the turnover from being costly. Disciplined and hard hitting, they eventually put the Penguins into a fourth and two situation. That was taken care of by Jack Crawford and Ollie Ogbu. By now, Rob Bolden was getting more comfortable and patient. What's for the outside? Throws it downfield for Moy. Reaches out, reels it in at the Youngstown 41st down Penn State. Back goes Bolden. Bolden sets screen pass to Royster. Royster with Pennell in front, 35, cuts a, up to the 32-yard line. Under center is Bolden. Back he goes, short drop, he sets, he waits, throws over the middle. Brackett's got it, touchdown! Penn State, the first touchdown pass of Robert Bolden's career goes to the senior captain, Brett Brackett. Bolden was starting to look around the field at his various options, and the offensive line was giving him time to do that. He would have the most productive day ever for a true freshman quarterback, besting the numbers of Tony Saka in 1988. And Bolden's favorite target was Brett Brackett, who had a career day himself. Late in the half, Bolden and the Nittany Lions were on the move again. That kick by Colin Wagner is good. The third field goal of the game for Colin Wagner. Chaz Powell takes it at the goal line. 5, 10, 15, 20, scene 30, 35, 40, 10, 5, gone, 100 yards, touchdown. Some guys have it, some guys don't. He has it and went all the way for the touchdown. Penn State had worked long hours on special teams and it paid off. The holiday weekend atmosphere was now in full party mode and it spilled back down onto the field to the defense. The Nittany Lions were in full control of the game now, and with each series, Rob Bolden appeared more poised. Blitz coming, screen set up to Royster. Royster waits for Pinnell, 45, and gets the ball to midfield. Royster off the block from Klopax to the 40 to the 35, he gets nine. Back goes Bolden, straight drop, throws it for the end zone, bracket reaches up, touchdown Penn State! The Lions' success was proof of the great coaching job the Penn State staff had done in their few short months working with Bolden and with putting a game plan together against a new head coach and a team they had played just once before. 
and defensive coordinator Tom Bradley was not about to call the dogs off. And down he goes, back at the 45-yard line. A good job by Stupar and Motti. They didn't give away the blitz. The offensive line could not adjust. At second and 18, they throw the inside screen to Barnes. Run perfectly by Ali yeah. Ogbu. Okay, Ogbu is all over this field. The Lenny Lions move the chain. Stephon Green with that one cut and a first. Penn State kind of, kind of wearing down this Youngstown State team. 19 of 27 for 226 yards and two touchdowns. The Lenny Lions go to the fourth with a comfortable 30 to 7 lead as we watch a quarterback mature before our eyes. Green up the middle. Stephon Green touchdown. Penn State. Another well executed drive by the Lenny Lions. A lot of new faces and names contributed to the win, and a lot of senior leadership made the new guys feel at home. There was valuable playing time for many, including freshman running back Silas Red and quarterback Kevin Newsom. A nice start, but there's no time to gloat with defending national champion Alabama next. <laughs>